Iowa has been known for upsets throughout the school's history. You only have to go back to the 85 championship game to see the biggest one. But to beat top-seeded Kansas, the Wildcats will have to do something that no other 12 seed has ever done before beat a number one. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the NCAA Tournament Previews presented by Brother Printers and All-in-Ones. It's the 1 versus 12 game in the Midwest Regional. And for more, we bring in CBS College Sports Network Steve Lapis to break it down. And Steve, when you see the way that Villanova has played so far, do you see them being able to pull off the upset? Well, this is a team that is definitely capable of pulling off the upset. I think it's going to be difficult because Villanova's strength is Kansas' strength on the defensive end. Villanova, Scotty Reynolds has played great in this NCAA tournament, but so has Corey Stokes, the McDonald's All-American, who struggled through most of this season and now has found his stroke and has been on fire from the three-point line. But this Kansas team with Chalmers, Collins, Russell Robinson, they are great perimeter defenders. So the strength of Villanova, which is their guards have to score and play well, I think defensively the Kansas guards can shut them down. Well, that's the other part to this, too, because you're right about Villanova defensively being so well. Scotty Reynolds on display against Siena. He, it, was, it was beautiful to watch him play defense. But to do that against the backcourt, you're talking about Kansas's perimeter defense. But those guys in the backcourt for the Jayhawks, they're also so, so good offensively. So how do they stop them? Oh, this is an unbelievable balanced team, this Kansas team. So I'm, and the, that Villanova has a multitude of problems in this game. But I'm not going to take anything away from them because they are scrappy. They rebound much better than their size would indicate. This Villanova team is going to be in this game because they play hard and they're going to dive and go for every loose ball. But the Kansas team is much more talented and much more balanced. I think the biggest problem that Villanova is going to have is dealing with Darrell Arthur and Darnell Jackson, who are both very athletic guys who play inside. They can block shots. They run the floor. And the tempo of this game is going to be critical. And if Villanova plays fast like they like to, they're going to be playing into Kansas' strength and then it'll be tough. And one of their big guys who hasn't seen as many minutes as some of the others but uh, will not be in this game, Kasim Drummond, he is out for the rest of the tournament uh, for Villanova. But when you look at Dwayne Anderson and Dante Cunningham, can they match up with those big guys for, for Kansas? Well, Dante Cunningham, I think he's one of the more underrated players in the country. This kid always plays hard, always usually plays pretty good. He's all over the offensive glass. I think he is a good matchup right there. I think Villanova's problem comes. It, one of them will be able to guard Darrell Arthur, but who's going to have Darnell Jackson? So I think there's some tough matchups there. But Villanova's been playing a lot more matchup zone lately. And what that does, it slows the other team down. And you can't tell me that it's not good to be able to slow Kansas down. No, you got to limit their fast break points, Steve. Any chance, give me a percentage that you say Villanova wins this game. I think Villanova has a 20% chance to win this game. Obviously, it's 80-20 Kansas. They have the superior talent. They run up. They're going to they're gonna push it. They're a great defensive team. That's the main reason why I like this Kansas team is because the way they play defense. But don't count Villanova out completely. All right, Kansas trying to get back to the Elite Eight for a second straight year. CBS College Sports Network, Steve Lapis. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. The two tip it off Friday night, 30 minutes after the conclusion of Davidson and Wisconsin from Detroit. Of course, the game on CBS. And for more on this game or any other in the regional semis, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com or the CBS College Sports Network leading up to the game. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.